Welcome to Conversational Currency. I am your host, Shadidi Laser, and I thank you for tuning in. We are broadcasting live and loud from WBGR Studios on Princess Garden Parkway, right outside of our nation's capital in Atlanta, Maryland. Communication is a superpower, ladies and gentlemen, and Conversational Currency is the fastest growing platform that examines the value and importance of social skills for business in a digital era. Now, conversational currency answers the question, if you were able, if you had the superpower to say the right words in the right moments to every man and woman in a business context and setting, how different would the quality of your life be? Now, we have a great show for you today, and today's topic on the broadcast is why your friends and family don't support your business. Small businesses and small business owners often struggle with the idea of support as well as understanding what that really means, including forming partnerships amongst other business owners. And in this episode, I will outline the causes and solutions to these issues. Now, before we get into the uh, episode, make sure that you text currency, the word currency to 44222 in order to get access to the archive. So all of the exclusive interviews, the Hall of Fame interviews, the green room sessions where we go behind the scenes of our interviews and, and do a director's cut with the actual interview subject. And you get all of that by simply going to your smartphone and texting currency to 44222. Now, in this episode, my friends, we will discuss the following. We will answer the question, how far along must your business be before you're able to quote unquote demand support from your friends and family? We're also going to redefine support to a, a general or global definition. We're going to cover why your friends don't support your business ideas. We're going to cover why your family often hesitates to support your business ideas. And of course, if we're going to present the scenario or the challenge, I'm also going to provide you with the solution to get things in motion in order to gain the support that you need to grow your business. Because whether or not your friends or your family are 100% on board or they're 1% on board, you still need support. You still need a network in order to grow your business. So we're going to cover some solutions to that. So once again, in order to gain access to the library of episodes and exclusive interviews, I want you to text currency to 44222. Now, this episode is brought to you by Pure Potentials, the Speakers Retreat, which is your three day live event and experience designed to transform your message live on stage and help you to learn the inner workings of a six figure public speaking business. Now, this event is one of a kind in that you're in a room with the top speakers, authors, coaches, consultants, full-time public speakers, you name it, are all in one room and over a three-day period. So you're learning, you're going through the, the six-figure public speaking roadmap delivered by Pure Potentials. You're also, while you're at the event, you're to deliver a five-minute speech on stage, so professional stage, professional lighting, world-class camera crew, they record it for you, and that is yours to keep. You also receive a professional headshot, which goes into, of course, your, your speaker reel, and also it can be utilized for your social media profiles. It, it gives you, again, a professional uh, polished appearance, and that's delivered by a world-class photographer. You also receive a workbook in which you it it essentially is a mini business plan geared towards a public speaking business and you get the opportunity to network and communicate and be judged and evaluated by people who book speakers on stages 
all around the world. So they converge in this one location, which is La Jolla, California, Greater San Diego area. And the event will be held on March 9th through 11th. So now is the time where you need to make those last minute arrangements and get your tickets. But the easy part, since you are a friend of the program of Conversational Currency, is that if you go to bit.ly forward slash speak now 2018 that is bit.ly forward slash speak now 2018 you can gain access to a complimentary ticket for the event taking place on march 9th through 11th so requires a seat deposit which is handed right back to you you at the uh, actual event and you also have the ability to go vip which includes networking lunches and tons of other great perks so once again that is pure potentials the speakers retreat so now let's transition into the healthy entrepreneur segment now the healthy entrepreneur segment is a series i designed to improve the health consciousness of today's business community all around the world so in my work in mentoring business owners coaches consultants you name it all around this, this, this wonderful globe, health is commonly viewed as an optional part of self-care and or peak performance. So what happens is business owners are often a victim of the either or syndrome. So they say, I'm going to focus on my business or uh, I'll get to my health later. So they often say, I'll seek self-care when I have more clients or there's greater revenue. Or once we get through this launch, or I can't afford this particular dental procedure or medical procedure at this time, I'll put it off until later. So the lifestyle of an entrepreneur is such that the long and erratic hours and the stress that is often caused by being on a creator's path often leads to a haphazard diet and or malnutrition in many different ways, which can include lack of sleep, stress, arguing just a, a poor environment as well as what we consume via our diet so the healthy entrepreneur's purpose is to correct these issues through awareness and or education so the healthy entrepreneur is brought to you by the book discover your thinner self which is a common sense manual designed to approach a slimmer healthier version of you now it's written by my friend mr david medansky this guide is 166 pages of actionable advice based on the true story of transformation by the author david and a few people that he has helped which are listed within the book i want you to learn more about this book at www.beyondlosingweight.com now let's go right into the healthy entrepreneur tip so this is geared around an actual tool. So it's, it's a tool that will help you ease into the world of guided meditation. Now, I'm a big believer in standard definition so that we have a common definition, ladies and gentlemen. Guided meditation is a process by which one or more participate uh, in meditation in response to the guidance provided by a trained practitioner or a teacher either in person written text a sound recording video or audio visual media of some sort so it could be a YouTube video with a teacher taking you through the steps relax and find your center find your breath so on and so forth so the tool that I'm going to recommend is perfect for the individual who's just getting started with meditation and it is a guided meditation app. Now, the tool that I recommend is an app called Headspace. Now, this app was developed in Great Britain and it approaches meditation from a practical standpoint that will appeal to my listeners who Perceive meditation as a bit new agey, woo woo, so on and so forth. Something that they're not familiar with. So the app features spoken word exercises that are a narrator 
takes you through the process of meditation and it's designed to be used for roughly around 10 minutes a day, which is more than enough time to find your center and find out where the, the, the point of relaxation that meditation offers as a benefit. So it starts with a 10 session pack that comes free with the initial download. And if you want to take it further, it gives you a premium version that costs you $9.99 per month with simple, clear stats and screen tracking of your progress. So once again, that is the healthy entrepreneur tip of the day. The Headspace app, make sure you, you go into your app store for whichever smartphone platform that you utilize and look for the Headspace app and get meditating today. Meditating or meditation is one of the greatest benefits that you can give to yourself as an entrepreneur in that it is free of charge. And at any moment, you can simply regain your center no matter what is going on in life. So I highly recommend meditation as a tool. And I, I want you to take a look at that now. Thank you to those who are tuning in via the WBGR uh, Facebook Live feed. And make sure you are sharing the broadcast. Take a moment right now and select the share button and share conversational currency with your network, with your friends, your family, your business colleagues, because we all have an entrepreneur within and we all need to know the tools in order to communicate more effectively whether you want to be a senior professional, whether you want to be at the top of your industry, whether you want to be a public speaker, whether you need to deliver that pitch in order to feed your family, land that contract, and go to the top of your industry, make sure you share the broadcast. The more people who are on board with the show, the more support that's received, the more we can expand what we are doing here. And I thank you for your support. I thank you for helping the show reach this point. Now, I would also like to thank our platinum sponsor for coming on board. That is DNA Solutions and Consulting. DNA Solutions and Consulting is Baltimore's fastest rising firm that is founded for engineers by engineers. So 100% practitioners in the field founded a company and decided to, to band together and form a company of friends and family. So DNA Solutions Bread and Butter is providing enterprise solutions to complex IT problems. I want you to go to www.dnasolutionsandconsulting.com to schedule your complimentary conversation with the DNA team about your career path. If you're a top-notch professional and you want to work with people who understand what it's like to work at the top, build your personal brand, and balance it all, there's none better than the good folks at DNA Solutions and Consulting. So let's go into our featured topic of the day. Why you lack support for your business from friends and family. Now, the question we often have when we talk about support is how far, how, how much should you go in order to demand support from your friends and family? Now, I will preface this by saying it is an extremely short-sighted strategy to rely on your family as customers and or promotional partners. So your family is not your primary customer base. Your family is not responsible to promote your products or services. So I recommend that you establish yourself independently as a separate business entity before you involve friends and family. Now, this is a concept that many people mistake in terms of if my friends and family don't support me, then they don't love me or they truly don't want the, the best interest for me. Now, you have to keep in mind that just because someone is your 
friend, your best friend in the world. You went to high school, college, military, fraternity, sorority together. Does not mean they understand your entrepreneur's journey or your entrepreneur's, entrepreneur's path or the vision that you're trying to establish. It also may mean that you need to take accountability on the clarity of your entrepreneurial vision and also your mission statement and also the benefits of what you are attempting to do. So in last week's episode, we discussed uh, love and entrepreneurship, but of course our friends and family are an extension of the people we love outside of our spouse, outside of our girlfriends or uh, boyfriends as well. So your, your, your core circle is um, composed of that particular audience. So you want to make sure that you establish yourself independently. You want to make sure you have clarity in your mission, clarity in your products and services, and your family, your friends could be part of the feedback loop in terms of what do you think about this idea, but never should you rely on your family for sales and or promotional support and or partnership. So when we look at redefining support as a whole, support for your business means awareness of and understanding that you're on the entrepreneurial path. So let's say if your friends and family that, that genuinely care about you, their responsibility is to understand that, okay, you are on the path of creating something new. So that's something you have to clearly communicate. And you have to live by. So for example, when I was 27 years old, I made the decision to retire from the quote unquote nightlife of going out, having fun, and just living the, the party lifestyle as an actual life strategy. So, and the reason for that was I had, I was of my friends, I was the one of the, the earliest to, let's say, have a mortgage and also operate a business at the same time. So when I was knee deep in going out, happy hours, having fun, my stance or my boundary of I need to wake up the next day and be a full-time entrepreneur wasn't clearly communicated because I'm still doing the same things that everyone else was doing. So of course, someone who genuinely cares about me would not understand my passion for what I'm doing because there were no changes in my behavior. So once I, I started to wake up and I was a bit more sluggish just from staying out later and I realized that I need more of my time within the day to be focused on my business tasks, my Saturday mornings, my Sunday mornings, need to be focused, that's when I started to pull away and dedicate myself to establishing a business empire. And so my friends at first didn't understand because again, it takes a while for behavior to change. But over time, once the results begin to come to fruition, then it was understood Shadid means business because his actions are in alignment with his ideals and his words. So that's one thing to keep in mind is, so my friends understood based on my actions and what I communicated. And from then everything cascaded in line in terms of not so much inviting to, let's say happy hour, but okay, here's a, a job fair coming up. Maybe you can get a booth here or this person needs your particular services. So it all starts with you. It all starts with your communication. It all starts with the actions that you establish in support of what you establish as your boundaries and or your ideals and or your vision. So let's go into why your friends don't support your business. Now, I wanna point out that if your friends are not supporting 
your business ideas, then you may have a clear misunderstanding of the types of friends in your life. And it's important to note that you need a higher ratio of the right kinds of friends. Now, if someone's genuinely your friend, that does not mean they're a quote unquote bad friend or they need to be out of your life for good. But you have to realize that there are certain friends that are geared for the entrepreneur's journey or the creator's path. So I'll explain to you briefly the three categories of friends or the three types of friends that you will meet in your lifetime. The first category of friends happens to be the rite of passage friends. Now, rite of passage friends are based on moments in time, typically based on a transformational experience. So what happens is when you find yourself in experiences that transform who you are as a man or woman, the mind reaches out for bonds to make sense of it all. So examples include boot camp, which can be a high stress, highly transformative environment, uh, being in a college dorm as a freshman, fraternities, uh, pledging into a sorority, church choir, sports. So these are all transformational experiences where you meet these individuals during that time and you end up forming very powerful bonds, especially during the experience and shortly after. The next type are your proximity friends. Now your proximity friends, of course, proximity is based around uh, location. So these common examples include growing up in the same neighborhood. Common examples include the break room with your coworkers and your proximity friends often, of course, based on, let's say, neighborhood ties. Those tend to be strong, of course, during that time, and that becomes the common reference point throughout life. So when you move away, that friendship often dilutes, but when you see each other, the conversation often reverts back to, remember what happened when we were in ninth grade or we were uh, a menace to the neighborhood when we were uh, kids or remember Little League Baseball. So it's often taking down memory lane. And we, when we look at why our friends don't support us, in many cases, what you're competing against is the strength of the memories that you've had. So you're competing against the former version of yourself. And if there's one point I would like to drive home, is that the height of your experiences equals the depth of subconscious impression on the mind of your friends. So for example, with my rite of passage friends, I happened to be a um, track athlete that was uh, nominated in my high school's hall of fame. So of course, I have great memories with my teammates and the championships we won and records we've broken. So for many of my rite of passage friends, when we come together, let's say at the, the Hall of Fame banquet, which was last April, the discussion was about the glory days. So in some cases, there's people who will say, well, what are you doing today? But in most cases, because of the height of those memories, that impression of Shadi the athlete is burned into their subconscious mind and they can't see beyond that. So you have to realize when it comes to support that your friends are not purposefully in many cases, let's say uh, sliding your efforts to be an entrepreneur, but the person you are today, if you've been an entrepreneur for a year or two years, if you have 15 years of track record in some other field, or let's say you went from high school to college into the workforce, these are different, uh, different versions of yourself that the, your friend has to process or your family members have to process. So you, the entrepreneur, is a new character that is appearing. So it takes time, it takes consistency, and at no point should you take it personally. Now, the third 
type of friend is the wingman. The wingman friends are the people who support you no matter what you do or who you become. So if you look at the trajectory of many great people in life, they always have that one person by their side who manages to just find a role to fit in. So let's say with the, let's use entertainment, for example, with uh, Will Smith. So back when he started out as DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince, the, uh, the, the musical group that he first started with, when he moved into Hollywood and landed a, a sitcom deal with the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Jazzy Jeff found himself in a recurring role. And throughout the years, they found different ways to support one another and remain supporters as well as deep friendship, but they also support each other's ambitions. So when it comes to your friends, you have to realize that not every friend will make the journey with you. And some will only view you as where you've been in it takes time for them to adjust to where you're going. So when we look at why your family doesn't support your business, it's very simple. The law of familiarity dictates that no matter how far you, you climb, your family has known you throughout your entire life and they've seen all your iterations of self that exist. And so it's, it's important to note that Let's say in my particular case, even though I'm on this broadcast, there are family members who are watching this broadcast right now who say, well, you're in this nice studio with the fancy lighting, but we know your scars. We know the, the time when before you had a car, before you were in business, when you had the first business that was a horrible idea, or I, at least I thought it was horrible. And so there's always the people who are most familiar with you and again you're competing against that version of yourself that you you have to always account for so although i have a track record of entrepreneurship there's still people who have known me within my family longer than i've been an entrepreneur and that's the reference point they always will start with in most cases there are some family members who are wingmen and they support, let's say my trajectory. There are some proximity friends who become wingmen and also support your growth. And there's also some rite of passage friends who also support your growth. So it's important to note that any one of the types of friends and including family members can become the wingmen and support who you are because they know you the best and support your growth. But it's, not a wise strategy to expect for your friends and family to support your growth. And I will say that the two biggest mistakes that you can make is to expect your family to take action on your ideas and number two, to get upset when they don't. And that's where network marketers, for example, are often the biggest casualties in the friends and family marketing approach in that they are erroneously taught to reach out to your network and offer them the service. And your friends and family will start to avoid your calls and dodge you. And that's because they know everything about you before the, the networking opportunity or network marketing opportunity came along. And that is what you have to account for. So in short, build your own platform go into the the concept of prospecting which sales prospecting is the act of recruiting or seeking out new customers based on your your target audience definition for your business so prospecting is something that should be done each and every day and it's associated with the goal of increasing your customer base and generating new revenue streams do not use your family to prospect. If anything, build your network outside of your family. And as the ripple effect of success begins to echo, 
then your family will learn about you and say, oh, I had no idea you had the new book in stores. I had no idea that you had the new product or service that you are selling. How can I support you? And that's the best way to establish friends and family within your business hierarchy. Never should you leverage friends and family as your direct line of sales, your sales pipeline, your promotional partners, or your marketing chain or network. So utilize the law of social proof. When it comes to friends and family, no one likes to eat within an empty restaurant. And what you have to keep in mind is your prospecting is what fills that proverbial restaurant and allows for you to fill the restaurant. And so when your friends and family walk by, they say, wow, he or she's doing really well and I'm going to support or I'm just going to acknowledge and look at your work in a different light. So I want you to text the word currency to 44222. I would like to thank David Medanskis and Discover Your Thinner Self. I would like to thank Pure Potentials, the Speakers Retreat, and our platinum sponsor, DNA Solutions and Consulting, for their support of the episode. This has been another great episode of Conversational Currency. You could have been anywhere in the world but you chose to be here with me. And for that, I appreciate you. Have a powerful, productive week and make sure that you utilize social skills for business in your efforts to communicate and establish the best version of yourself in your business.